South Africa's senior national football team will be looking to produce a positive response against Sudan on Sunday after losing their opening Group C qualifier to Ghana on Thursday. It will be a stern test for coach Molefi Nseki's charges, who have had 48 hours to prepare for their second encounter at home to Sudan. CGTN CS Duplessis has more. The 2-0 defeat to Ghana was the national coach's first loss of his tenure and by his own admission a bitter pill to swallow after the victory over Mali in the Nelson Mandela Challenge. Adding salt to the wounds, his team have had to travel through the night from the Cape Coast and Ghana and need to recover and prepare for their next match in the space of just 48 hours. Yeah, we are fully aware that uh, playing against Sudan is a difficult one. They are coming from a 4-0 win and uh, we are coming from a loss. So it is all about us to dig deeper going into this match against Sudan tomorrow. And um, we are left with only one form of results, which is winning this game. Now the focus shifts very quickly to the must-win encounter, where the 1996 champions need three points against Sudan. And midfielder Dean Furman says that unlike their previous qualifying campaigns, where they started with victories, there's still plenty to play for, despite an opening loss. Probably the toughest game in the group. Ghana away, it was never going to be easy. Um, so we start with the defeat, but it still feels like the start. Uh, we have an opportunity to get off to three points, to join Sudan on three points on uh, tomorrow. So it's vitally important that, that we get off, um, we get up and running in the group. It will be vital for Nseki's weary men to come away with a victory on Sunday afternoon against a spirited opposition who, despite having beaten them twice before, cannot be taken lightly. But the Bafana coach is aiming to score early, boss proceedings in Orlando, so that his team stand every chance of getting points on the board in what is turning out to be a very competitive qualifying group. Sestu Plessis, CGTN, Johannesburg.